Hello, it's Sam here, Everything Electrical here on YouTube. Today's video, we're doing Romex 101. And the purpose of this video will just be a general overview of Romex and what it is and how it works. Um, for those of you that don't know, Romex is the type of cable, the electrical cable, that is uh, most commonly found in residential homes. It's the cable that is pulled through the wood studs in the homes. Um, the common sizes are, it's the lowest size or the smallest size would be 14. And then up from that is 12. And then 10, 8, 6, and sometimes even 4 if, um, if you're like feeding a sub panel or something like that. Um, they make a 4-3 Romex, um, and I'm sure there's bigger Romex wires than that, but those are the most commonly used. It, again, it's 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, and 4. Okay, um, here I have, I have, um, this is number 12 Romex, and I have um, a 12-2 and a 12-3. And I also have a 10-3 here. Um, the way that the coloring works is uh, if you have a 14 gauge Romex, you can usually determine that by the white sheathing that's around it. So if it's white, it'd be a 14. Here I have a 12, and you can see that it's yellow. So yellow is 12. And this is a 10, and this is orange. And anything up from a 10 would be black. So any um, 8, 6, or 4, it's going to be a black sheeting. So you have white at 14. Yellow is number 12. 10 is number, number 10 is orange. And anything bigger than that is usually black sheathing. Um, they have two types. Um, in, the, in, each, in each size, there's a 2-conductor and a 3-conductor wire. So here I have a 12-2 Romex, and here I have a 12-3, and I'll show you the difference between those two. This might be kind of tricky with the camera, but basically, <laughs> whoops, this, um, this is a 12-2 wire. And it actually has three wires in it, but we call it a 12, 12 deuce, 12 tube. And um, so you have your a black, a white, and a ground. <clears throat> so I guess the, the theory is that you know they call it a two conductor because you have your black and white, and you don't consider the ground as a conductor. But uh, you have three wires in there, anyhow, and that is known as a 12 tube. Your hot, neutral, and ground. And then over here I have a 12-3, which actually has four wires in it. I'm going to try to strip this one again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, so here on our 12-3 conductor, we have four conductors actually three conductors in the ground so you have your black, red, and your white and that is known as a uh, that's your 12-3 um, 12-3 you can use this as a home run wire it's important that when you share a neutral you uh, have it on a tandem breaker uh, most commonly a lot of times these are this is the conductor that you use to run between your three-way switches and also for your smoke alarms. So usually for three-way switches and smoke alarms, um, you use your 12-3 wire. And sometimes for your fan, if you're running a fan that has a like a fan-light combo, instead of pulling, if you have two switches, one switch for your light and one switch for your fan, instead of pulling two separate Romexes, you can pull a 12-3. And here, 
is uh, the number 10, and this is a 10-3 wire. 10-3, and you can see that it's a little bit thicker than the 12-3. Um, just real quick, the number 12 is good for uh, overcurrent protection of 20 amps. This is good for an overcurrent protection of 30 amps. So this would be more commonly found in a, like a dryer, sometimes dryer and uh, some ovens are 30 amp ovens. You can pull it for that, and uh, a water heater would be a number 10, but you would use a 10-2 there because you don't. It's not required to have a neutral. So mainly for this wire, it's for a dryer or an oven. Um, Anyhow, this is for 30 amps, a uh, number 10 wire. Um, a number 8 wire would be 40 amps, and a number 6 wire would be 50 amps. A number 4 wire um, would be a 60 amp, and so on for your overcurrent protection. Of course, the, you can, uh, the wire will carry more amperage than that, but you're required by code to have a certain overcurrent protection. Um, so yeah, this is just an introductory to Romex, Romex 101, for anyone who may not be familiar with it and just wants to learn more. Um, it's pretty simple for each gauge type from uh, 14. You have a 14-2, 14-3, 12-2, 12-3. I don't have the wire to show you, but a 10-2 and then a 10-3. You have 8-2 and an 8-3, 6-2 and a 6-3, 4-2 and 4-3. And the only difference between the two, uh, a two and a three wire is you. Here's a two wire. You have a black and a white. And on a three wire, you have a black and a red and a white. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I hope that someone out there um, can benefit from this. And um, I'll be making more detailed videos in the future of how to like strip out switch boxes and do plugs and stuff like that. But this is just the one on one. So I hope this. Uh, I hope this helped and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.